What is up everyone, PureCowSex here with another TTO2 parts and upgrades video. Uh, this time, I'm going to be modifying and upgrading one of my brushless, uh, one of my brushed TTO2s. Uh, I currently have a, a heavily modified brushless TTO2, uh, but I want to modify a brushed one uh, and see how fast I can make that go. Um, I haven't really taken the brushless one out properly yet for a proper speed one. I don't have a GPS speed meter, so I really need to get hold of one of those. Um, but yeah, I'd like to do the same thing with one of my normal stock brushed TTO2s. And yeah, basically just throw a load of upgrades at that and see how fast I can get that to go. Um, so I'm in the process of getting some of the upgrades. Uh, I've got some now, and some on the way, and some I still need to get. So I go through the list of what I've got now. And hopefully, got a box here. Uh, start off with the most boring thing, which is just a Traxxas to Dean's connector. Uh, this is basically just so I can charge LiPo batteries with my Traxxas LiPo charger, so I don't have to buy another charger. So that's that's just just so I can you know charge it with that. Uh, something I already had, thankfully, because I saved myself about nearly thirty quid. Are some of the CVA shocks. I actually pulled these off of another car which I'm selling on eBay so uh, I thought I'll, I'll pull these off because these, these were the only upgrades on that particular car so I thought well I'll, I'll just put the stock pogo sticks back on and then the new owner can upgrade it as they see fit so CVA shocks there's them uh, not really an upgrade but more of a part. It's basically just a receiver uh, for the car because it doesn't have one at the moment. Another must-do modification or upgrade is the aluminium drive shaft and drive cups. So yeah, um, can't get one without the other. To be perfectly honest, if you're gonna get one, get the other. So always a good hop up there. Uh, a battery from HPI. Let's open this. Okay, so uh, it's basically it should be more or less the same size as a normal NIMH battery. Uh, so it should fit in the TTO2 perfectly. Um, I haven't actually tried it yet, um, but I can't see any reason why it wouldn't, um, as it is literally just uh, the same size and shape as a NIMH. So, yeah. I've only ever bought, like, Traxxas LiPos and one Overlander. <clears throat> so this is my first Plasma LiPo, which, like I said, should fit in the TTO2. Mm, perfectly fine. So, that should be golden. Yeah, let's put that there. Um, and now the two big ones. <clears throat> <clears throat> First one is the speed controller. Um, <clears throat> yeah, this is literally like most, <laughs> like many speed controllers nowadays. This is literally just a rebranded Hobbywing 1060. And what is what it? Is that really the box for that? Okay, um, I did have Model Sport open it um, so for them to put the Dean's connector on, but uh, yeah, it, it is literally just a rebranded 1060, which I'm a bit um, cautious about now because I've had several of these, and while they are nice and cheap, uh, they they do have that sort of cut off issue where they go into sort of limp mode for no reason. I had a few that do that. Uh, I even tried the capacitor fix by putting the capacitor in the battery table uh, and it still didn't fix it. So I'm a bit weary of any 1060 thing. So I'm hoping... Uh, we'll see. Um, yeah, I, I am a bit stupid though because the, the TTO2 that I'm upgrading is a fairly new kit and it comes with a new speed controller. And it basically comes with a Tamiya branded 1060. 
Technically speaking, I didn't need to buy that, as it's exactly the same as what's already in there. But uh, yeah, go me, I'm, I'm daft. I, I didn't even think about that, to be honest. Uh, but yeah, that's going to be the speed controller. Ordinarily, I would have got the 1080, um, but it's like more than twice the cost of this one. Uh, and Hobbywing have brought out a new one called the G2, which supposedly has this real car mode. Um, and it has like three connectors that plug into the receiver, which is a bit much for me. Uh, that's too much cable. Um, you don't have to. I mean, you can put, you can plug them in, but you don't have to use them. But meh. Like, like I said, it was very expensive. And last but not least is the motor. Yeah. An LRP 14 turn. Uh, these speed controllers can do 12 turn. Um, I wouldn't recommend going as low as it can. Um, always like try to go one up from as low as it can. So if it can do 12 turn, um, go 13 at the lowest, just you know, be on the safe side. But like I said, I don't trust anything that looks like a 1060. <laughs> so, yeah, they got LRP, LRP stickers. That didn't come with any stickers, unlike the Hobbywing version. So that's very disappointing HPI, sort that out. And there is a Lemota. Now I have had the honor of melting one of these uh, in my TT01. I got it on video. On the, uh, it's on my channel. Uh, I melted the, I, I melted this, <laughs> so, and then I melted three more motors after that. Uh, I eventually found out it's because I had it geared up too much. I really wish I'd figured that out sooner. Um, but yeah, so I've never been a fan of motors that have exposed bits at the back, but yeah, they're good motors though. So. Yeah, the LRP V10 Spec 6 with a 14 turn. So that is going to be the powerhouse, or the power plant. Nice. They are, I, I do like the looks of these. They are very expensive. I, they are like £26 or 26 quid. It, they're more expensive than the speed controller and the battery. So. Yeah, and they're about the same price as the CVA shops. <laughs> so, yep, yeah. grand. So it's gonna be. Yep, I haven't quite figured out how I'm gonna attach that to this yet. Um, I can either. Go ahead, get the cables up. I can either use the included cables along with some heat shrink that I put in there. I can either use these. Um, but normally, just to avoid any sort of oops, to avoid any connection issues, I usually solder the speed controller directly to the motor. So I might do that, but it does make it difficult to replace one of these bits if they break because I have to desolder it from the motor. Um, it's obviously it's easy to use these, but the cables will be longer; they'll be harder to neaten up and everything. And I'm a bit of a neat freak when it comes to cables. So, I have to see how that pans out. If I can't get the cables quite neat, uh, I will probably have to end up soldering the speed controller to the motor. So, yeah. Uh, okay. So, yeah, close that. So, yeah, um, there we go. That is the first part of the parts and upgrades for my brushed TT02 and we'll see how fast it can go. Like I said, I really do need a GPS speed meter. So anyone wants to help out with the channel and help me get one of those, feel free to, uh, you know, PayPal and all that kind of thing. Links in the description if you wish uh, to do that. Um, so yeah, uh, I should be expecting a second round of parts today but I don't know when or tomorrow I don't know it's raw mail they're they're so iffy nowadays I, I don't know when I'm gonna get what I'm expecting so uh, yeah 
But yeah, I'll make a second video. Because I don't, I don't want to just throw too many parts into one video. So I'll make a second video for the second lot of parts. And I'm also waiting for a body shell to arrive. Nothing special or anything, but it's a body shell I've never owned before. So that'll be interesting. Um, so yeah. Uh, thank you for watching. I'll uh, see you in the next video, which will be part two, obviously, of the parts and upgrades. So I'll see you then. Bye!